Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be solving yesterday's problem of the day that is special matrix. This problem appeared in Amazon and this is a dynamic programming problem. This has a success percentage of 52% and this is a medium level problem. Now let us read and understand the problem statement. So we are given a matrix where the matrix would have n columns, m columns and n rows. Okay. The special properties of the matrix is that some part of the matrix that is some cells of the matrix would be blocked. That is if you can't visit them. Okay. Now you need to start from the left top and you need to reach the bottom right. Okay. Provided during the journey you can horizontally move, horizontally move right okay, or down. Okay. Can you answer the number of ways I can do it? Okay. Observing the constraint from 1, 1 and 1, 2. So before moving forward or rather looking at the test cases, let us first take an example of a 2 into 2 matrix. Okay. Suppose we have a 2 into 2 matrix like this. So the first way we can visit this cell from this cell to this cell. This is the source. This is the destination. I can reach from here to here. And the next way would be from here to here. So the possible ways if all the cells are unblocked, then in 2 into 2 matrix the possible ways are 2. Now let us do the same thing. There are 3 into 3. Okay, fair enough. So we need to draw a 3 into 3 matrix. Okay, let us quickly draw 3 into 3 matrix. Okay. Now it is told that the 1 and 2. Okay, so this is 0, 0, this is 0, 1, this is 0, 2, this is 1, 0, this is 1, 1, and this is 1, 2, then this is 2, 0, this is 2, 1, and then this is 2, 2. But here the values are 1 indexed. Okay, so 1 and 2 would be converted to 0 and 1. So 0, 1, this cell is blocked. Okay, then 3, 2, that would be converted to 2, 1, 2, 1 is also blocked. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to mark this 2, 1, 2. Okay, now what can be the possible way? The possible path can be this. Okay, we would move from here to here. We can't move here because there is no path. We can't move from this side because there is no path. So moving in any other direction would be useless. Okay, then we would move here, move here, move here, and then we would move here. So there is only one path that is existing. Other than that, there is no path that is existing. So what can be the most possible way? Okay, it can be the case that suppose I took the left path, but I came across this blocked path. So I need to backtrack, and then I need to go to the next next available option. Then I need to again come back, and then again next available option. Okay. So what I can do is, what I can do is, and in this process, coming back and again trying to find the destination. In that process, counting the paths would be very much difficult. Or rather, what we can do is we can try all ways and we can count the number of valid ways. Count valid ways. Okay, fair enough. This is what we can do. How we would do it? Suppose we are at a particular cell. Then there are two available options. The first available option is this side, the next available option is this side. So there are two available options. So we would go in both the direction recursively. Okay. How we would do it? Suppose this is the cell. Then suppose this cell shouldn't be blocked and it should be within the boundary. Okay. So we would visit the cell. If in the process of doing this, if we reach at the end, then that means that we there is a way to reach that and we would count that. This is the first way. Now the time complexity would be exponential. So to reduce upon the time complexity, we need to memoize the solution. Why? Because it would be overlapping sub problems. Okay. So now how would we do it? We would initialize a matrix of n and m with everything as 0. Then we would make everything as 1 itself. You can do it here itself. Then what we are doing is as it was 0 index, so we were subtracting 1 from both the sides. That is what we are doing. Subtracting 1 and we are marking it as minus 1. Minus 1 indicates that it is blocked itself. Okay. Then we make a DP array to store the answer, to store the answer, to memoize the solution. 
then we start with the index 0 0 okay and we pass on the other parameters that are required next it is very small as the number of values can be very large so we need to print it modulo so instead of writing 10 to the power 9 plus 7 again and again we can have it as a constant with 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so if we have reached the end that means that there is a path and the last cell is not a block so we would return that if we have reached the end or the current cell is blocked okay suppose we reached at this point and this current cell is blocked okay so there would be no path in this or if we have reached the end and the end is blocked that means there is no path again so we would say no path again if that value is already calculated so we won't calculate it again we would return the calculated value itself if not what we would do is we would move in both the direction that is i plus 1 okay as well as j plus 1 both the direction and see suppose going on this side have 5 path and going on this side have 5 path so we would add both the 5 and we would say the total number of path are 5 plus 5 this is what we are doing we are adding total number of path and then we are printing it modular more okay so that's it for today if you face any difficulty feel free to ask in the comment section thank you and have a nice day